to not know by now Vlad is working with them. Vlad is working with them. Vlad said out his own mouth, Vlad said, ha, did you know Alpo, the shooter, Alpo shooter reached out to me? And I told him, nah, don't come. Because I don't want him to come. And he say something that's going to put him back in prison. Did you hear what I just said? Going to start this off right. And I want everybody to understand that, yes, Alpo, the man in real life, he informed. He's an informer. He worked with the United States government, the F to B, the I, the boys. He made a deal. Now, I seen Alpo on 119, 118 on Lennox a lot on that bike, playing the music, whatever. I see him, he see me, just like a regular person walking back and forth or going about your business. I seen him. And he was very welcoming, humble. He was doing his thing, enjoying his life. He had, and he was always with one or two people. A guy, the same guy uh, around his age or a little older, or a guy and a female. He was never deep with people. He was never ganged up. He was never mobbed up. It was just him enjoying his life. I seen him, he see me just like, a normal person, you walk in, you see people, you look, but I never went up to him and say, what's up, Alpo? What's up? I seen the man many times, many times, walk past the man, all that. I never was on that time like, hey, what's up, Alpo? What's up? Like, a, no, no. I knew what he did. I know what he's about. And I know what he was doing. He's living paid in full too. Because even though... I'm saying he informed, that's facts. Even though I said Alpo Martinez is an informer, that's facts. But it's not personal because I have nothing to do with Alpo, that Alpo have nothing to do with me. Okay? So it's not my position to see Alpo and be like, yo, you ratted, son, or, or yo, you a rat, or to run up on Poe. That got nothing to do with me. That has to do with the people he informed on, their families and friends or any leftover beef in the streets or any people that have grievances about Poe. Like we know there's rappers that feel some type of way. We know about my son. We know about Mano. We know about Vlad TV who feels some type of way. I mean, I can't understand how Vlad is taking it so personal when it comes to Alpo. It's like if Alpo ratted on him. Or if Alpo slept with his woman or something. It's like I, I can't understand how he's taking on those spirits about the man. You don't know Alpo. Alpo and you never had no dealings. All you do, Vlad, is bring people on your platform and you play your position. You are working with the government. Vlad, I used to distribute your mixtapes before you got the... The situ you, before you blew up, because everybody think it's when Rick Ross beat his butt, he got jumped, and he won a million dollars from the lawsuit. Everybody think that's why he blew up. No, Vlad TV blew up because of MTV. He won DVD of the year, and that came with rewards. One of them was Complex Magazine. Complex Magazine was the back, the back end, the workforce of Vlad TV. See, when you have a big company like that behind you, you're going to go. It's like if you're an artist and you sign to Universal, you can't lose. You're going to go. They're going to promote you. They're going to get you out there. Your album going to be in every store. Now, we're talking about algorithm. You behind Complex Magazine, they connected and then you connected to them. That's his power source, and that's what made him pop. But Vlad, you know somebody I know, the guy that was distributing your mixtapes, 
to mom and pop shops like Troy Reed shop. Troy Reed used to have them mixtapes and DVD before all of this internet stuff. That's what we was doing. And Vlad used to be a slickster. We, my guy, used to print up the, the stuff, package it, all Vlad's mixtapes, right? And then he eventually went into mixing videos. And then I would do the legwork, drop it off at the mom and pop shops. Vlad ain't put up a dollar yet because the deal is whatever is sold, we will go collect the money. Vlad get his cut and we get our cut. Well, Vlad will beat us to it. And the guy I was dealing with, he's not like a aggressive type dude. And I would complain about that. And he would complain about it. And that's when I stopped doing it because I'm like, yo, you get a, you a pushover. You know what I'm saying? But here's the deal. Vlad has transcended because the hip-hop police, the government, are involved in our culture. People like Vlad, and now we're hearing Big U, and deals like what they're giving Big U, those community cop deals, okay? 200000 a year Big U get for that, where he got to report any little mischievous activities or individuals, he has to go back and let them know that. Now, Vlad is getting paid as well. I mean, it is so obvious He's getting paid by the government that when they sit on his couch, bro, Vlad already knows that they're tuning in. They're going to use his content against the artist or whoever sits on that couch. He knows that. And people, you can't be that slow. You can't be that dumb. You can't be that naive to not know by now Vlad is working with them. Vlad is working with them. Vlad said out of his own mouth, Vlad said, ha, did you know Alpo, the shooter, Alpo shooter reached out to me? And I told him, nah, don't come because I don't want him to come. And he say something that's going to put him back in prison. Did you hear what I just said? Did you hear what that man just said? I'm telling you right now, I don't need to lie. You can go and watch the interview he did with Mano. You can go and watch it. He said out his mouth, oh, did you know Shaquem, did you know he, he hit me up to do an interview? But I don't want him to go to prison. So I told him, don't come. He's admitting that anybody who's come on that show, on his couch, you are under the microscope. You are already under the investigation. He said, I told him not to come because I don't want him to go to prison. He might say something when I ask him the question. He might really say he did it. And then, boom, he going back to... That means they watching. He knows that. Now, all these rap guys go on Vlad TV. Black guys go on Vlad TV. And I, it baffles my mind. Why keep going on that couch? That couch is a trap. It's a trap. You know who was invited on that couch? It's funny how... Let, let me explain something. It's funny how... You, Vlad, chuckle and laugh. When you say, oh, yeah, he's dead. And <laughs> who? Nobody cares about him. When, did you see any R.I.P. Alpo when he died? Did you see? <laughs> and he laughs and he chuckles. Right? And he, and he boasts and said the man's a rat. But you the feds, homie. You the actual. <laughs> if, if, if Alpo... If Alpo, sir, is a rat, then what are you? Because you know, and I know, anybody who sit on that couch. And Vlad was never like that before. He was all about the music. I used to go and see Vlad, not personally, I used to go 
with a friend of mine that was paying Digiwax. Digiwax and Vlad was in the same cubicle building on 34th Street, man. Like, this is a guy I I before he popped like that. He had humble beginnings. And I'm not gonna take away that he saved me from getting jumped by the Migos. Okay, that 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 offset and that takeoff kid. The only humble one that day was Quavo. But even when Vlad and Chinks Drugs, Chinks, may he rest in peace, was telling them, leave that man alone. Listen, I didn't even do nothing wrong. I'm doing my job. And the camera just happened to lean forward and it hit takeoff. No, it hit offset by accident. A, a little bump. And he ain't like that. Oh, you And they went off for me. And it was Chinks and Vlad seen the commotion. He was with these big dudes, these big uh, Russian or Romanian looking dudes. And there was, Vlad was telling him, yo, chill, man, chill. So I appreciate that. But Vlad ain't know the whole time. I used to be the guy that distributed his mixtapes. I wasn't the CEO of the company. I wasn't the boss. So I didn't take up that beef with him. The CEO got to take up that beef with him. So I know Vlad is not a mean guy. So I don't know if this is for hype. It, what it is with you and Alpo. Now you mentioned Pat Porter. Shout outs to Pat Porter. She did come and she told her story. On your platform. And you making it sound like you taking up the mantle. Yeah, because you know, he killed he killed her brother. And dude, let Pat and the family handle that. I think you just inciting things. I think you really want Pat family to seek revenge on Alpo. If they can't catch Poe, they catch his family. This is what these people do. This is what these people do. Because you are not stopping them. From using your video, using your content to indict and put rappers in jail, sir. You're not stopping the boys. You still having people come on your couch and you ask the craziest questions. And you knew out your own mouth, you know not to bring Shaquem Parker on your damn couch. Because the questioning that you're going to ask him and just like every other black guy, I don't know what it is. The white ice is better. They start talking. So, Shaquem, I know you're going to ask him. Shaquem, did, did you shoot him? Did you do it? I know they acquitted you. But why? How? We know it was you. Did you do it? He's going to do that. And you know what Shaquem going to do? 9 out of 10, based on the track record of every black dude that will go on Vlad TV, he might really say, yeah, I did it. <laughs> right? I mean, yo, it's crazy how we are some we, we are just bogus sometimes. And we let a guy come in the culture, okay, that's not from the culture. And to me, he the questioning, Vlad, your your questioning scare me. You incite beef and you ask cop questions all the time. You don't ask nothing about music. You don't ask nothing about the music. These are rappers. These are musicians. Where's the questioning about the music? Everything else is, oh, so, so yeah, you know, we heard about the shooting and wait, did you shoot or did, did he shoot? And okay, so they can't find the gun. Where is it? Like... <laughs> This dude is bugged out. And he chuckles. He laughs when it comes to Poe. But you're the same one who wanted an interview from the man. This is how you know it's all about the culture and the vulture. Because if you didn't like Alpo, sir, then why invite him to your couch? Why? The way There's a difference between you disagree with someone what they did, which we do. We don't agree with. With, with, with everything Alpo did. We we talking the story over here, but we 
don't agree with everything he did. You damn right. We we don't like the fact that he took out uh, Rich Porter. That ain't make no damn sense. In my opinion. So my thing is, you go beyond. You taking it too personal when you're chuckling. And 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 say, <laughs> yeah, when he died, nobody, all right, P, he's a dirty guy, he's a scumbag, he's this, he's that. Dude, why invite that person with your energy towards that individual? Why invite him, your heart corrupt, Roger? When it comes to that man, your heart is corrupt, but yet you want to invite him to your couch. That just shows me. That you're you're disingenuous. If I feel that way and have so much stain for someone, I would not want to even be around them or associate with them. I understand about Informa. First of all, where I'm from, Informa don't there can't be no Alpone Jamaica. Let's get that clear. He wouldn't live long enough. If Alpo was Jamaican and this happened in Jamaica, this story this story wouldn't even happen in Jamaica. The part two part, I'm talking. Payton Full 2 was Alpo coming back on the street. He made a whole nother movie. It wouldn't have happened. So I know where my culture stands. Miss T is Jamaican. Miss T knows in Jamaica it's a different ball game. I understand. All about Informa. And you don't see me chuckling. You don't hear <laughs> Alpo's daddy. <laughs> You don't see me doing that, Bridget. And a lot of guys talk. This most of the time, nine out of ten, they talked. The boys don't even know what the hell going on. It's somebody talking. That's how they know. Somebody spoke. Somebody chatting, ratting, singing, like what the mobsters would say. So it's not just Alpo who spoke. There's people you know, Vlad, that told too. There's rappers that you sat on that couch that told too. It's just that Alpo, like Mano said, he's like a mythical figure, an urban legend. But he's in our culture, Vlad, my culture, Vlad. There's good people in my culture and there's people like Alpo. But I knew a bunch of Alpos. He just famous. There was a bunch of dudes like him. Bunch of dudes like Alpo in the street, especially back then. He's just the fame. He's just famous. Rich, AZ, Poe, they famous. They made a movie. If they were relevant and non of, of a non fact, they would non factor, they wouldn't make a movie. They want to make a movie. Now, to me, Mano got more rights to not like Poe. Mano got more rights than you, Vlad. A lot of other people have legitimate rights to say, look, this is how I feel and it might be negative, but I have my reasons. And that's how we do it. You, don't, you could be respectful and still... Say, look, I don't mess with that dude and X, Y, Z, and I feel this way about him. But Vlad, you're like a cheerleader, <laughs> chuckling. <laughs> yeah, and when he died, nobody put no R.I.P. <laughs> like, come on, my man. You worse than him because you are the entrapment. Your little setup with that chair now, you got a chair? So you went from the couch to the chair? Hmm? What's the name of that chair, Vlad? Because I know you named the couch and I, now you named the chair. They part of you, huh? The whole entrapment, the lighting, the scheme of things. Yeah, let them come here. Yeah, you and the boys. Yeah, the boys probably behind that glass that look tinted. They probably right back there. And they got their own recording. You got your separate recording and they got this. Hit record. He's here. It is so obvious, Vlad, that you will send people to prison. You just said it. Oh, I don't want Shaquem Park up here. I told him no. Because I don't want him to say something and he go back to prison. That's what you said. 
And y'all still going on that couch. Y'all still going on that couch? Y'all the big ballers, the big hustlers? Y'all really need that Vlad check? Hmm? The big ballers and the big hustlers. Y'all really need that Vlad check. What about dignity? What about black sticking to black? Blow somebody else up from our culture. That's all I'm saying. Because at this point, it's like, boy, you're questioning you the way. Look, ain't a, nothing, no need to say no more because you done said it all. 